Hi Rory from Data Spanners and those Dynamics guys. Today I am going to be showing you about how the round and the value function works. Probably spend a little bit more time on the round function. So the the round function is quite simply does what it says on the tin. It rounds a number. Now if I go onto this um, if I go onto this app that I am um, prepared earlier what you can see is this is it in practice so I've got 20.345 rounds to 20.35 I know I can just do 20 um, 2.989 uh, something like that okay so you can see it's rounding it um, and that is <laughs> the idea now um, the f so what I'm going to do is I'm going to re I'm going to just rebuild this thing so that you can see it from scratch. So we're going to do a text input. So we're going to do insert. Um, now I should know this. Um, so insert text input, and we're just going to move it over here, and that's on my text input too. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do insert a label. Move this one over here. I'm just going to copy this to show what it's actually doing. quite got my screen size right uh, on this occasion but there we are so what we're going to do is we're going to get this bit here to um, so we'll do the border color and I'm going to go with red uh, and I'm going to change the border size because it doesn't ever has a size so th that text input there is going to go into this text field here so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put text. I'm going to go onto the text there, and what it's going to be is equals, and we're going to it's going to it's going to error to start with. So it's going to be round. Uh, what are we going to round? Well, we're going to round um, the text input to text input to um, dot text, and the comma is how many digits are we going to round it to? So let's round it to two digits. Now I know this is going to fail. Um, and I'm going to show you why in a minute. And like the first thing is said, well, at the moment it's sort of got text input there. So if we kind of go in there and we put maybe a, a 3.45, it'll still fail. Now the reason for that is that the output of the uh, of the text uh, input field is actually a text field. And what this thing here needs is a uh, it needs a uh, an actual value. Uh, and in order to do that, what we need to do is we need to wrap this um, the output in in uh, in a value function. So what we're going to do is going to do value um, and do that. So and that corrects the issue that we've got now. 3.45 actually rounds to 3.45 because it's actually exactly the same number. Now what I'm going to do on that is I'm going to round it to just one decimal place. I'm going to one. Uh, and then you can see that that. So there you have it. We've done the rounding uh, function. It's a little bit easier to see on this uh, in this area here because what we have is we can see that the we um, the first bit, the inner part of the function is um, we are taking the value from the text input number and we are converting it into a value we're rounding it to two decimal place and then we we have the round function and we're rounding it to two decimal places and um that's really it and you can do silly things like um that means that you can you can put a a label in there and you potentially would be able to do something along the lines of um let's just see if we can just do a little formula here equals some um text well, which we are label label rounded um rounded dot text comma I'm not sure how upset this is gonna be um and of course we've got our because I haven't done a naming convention here this is a really odd name it'll be label two label two Label2.text and you can see that the two of them add together. I was kind of not sure if I might have to convert that to a uh, to a function, uh, sorry, in, um, convert it to 
a value or not and yeah that's really it so um i'm just have a little play now um so i'm going to do that let's see if we can multiply them hmm. that works doesn't it so it's uh so we've obviously I, th I think that in this case when you use these um when you use some of these type operators they kind of convert it under the hood so i'm i think that we maybe have got lucky on that because clearly this is um text being um you know multiplied um uh one's being multiplied by the other so i think that what you find is if you put a bit of text in there it would all kind of fall apart so lovely so we have seen the round and the value function so thanks everyone oh please like please subscribe all those nice sorts of things always helps me and uh, i will see you again soon